Welcome everyone to our next Gen 4 International Forum webinar presentation. Today's presentation on experience of HTTR licensing for Japan's new nuclear regulation will be presented by Dr. Isuo Ichikua. But first, let's do some housekeeping um, like we like to do to start things off. Doing today's introduction is Dr. Patricia Pavier. Dr. Pavier is the group leader of the Radiological Materials Group at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. She is also the current chair of the Gen4 International Forum Education and Training Working Group. Patricia. Thank you so much, uh, Bertha. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today and to welcome Dr. Etsuo Ishitsuka who is the general manager of the HTTR reactor engineering section at the Department of the High Temperature Engineering Test Reactor Project in JEA. He earned his doctorate of engineering from the University of Tokyo in 1999. He started his research career at the Japan Atomic Energy Research Institute in 1986 as a research engineer for the Japan Material Testing Reactor Project. He worked in a wide field of neutron irradiation technology development, such as production of medical radioisotopes, fusion bunker materials, plasma facing components, and plasma diagnostics components. He was promoted to senior research engineer in 1994 and managed the experiments of a fusion blanket functional test in JMTR and the ITR project as the Deputy General Manager. After managing an international cooperation and training of foreign young researchers, he joined HTTR project in 2015 as the General Manager. His current interest is the neutron irradiation technology of HTTR and its new applications. So without any delay, I give you the floor, uh, Dr. Ishizuka. Thank you so much again uh, for volunteering, and uh, we are very happy to have you today. Uh, thank you, uh, Patricia Tan. And, uh, welcome to uh, this webinar, and uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, I will be talking about, uh, before my presentation, I will shortly introduce about uh, <coughs> HTGR. HTGR is well known about uh, like a uh, small module reactor. And then uh, most important thing is uh, very safety. And then uh, can uh, supply those stable power. And then uh, as to the economic uh, efficiency is a uh, heat utilization rate is uh, more than 80 percent and the uh, electric generation efficiency uh, if uh, we using uh, gas turbine is uh, more than 50 percent and also uh, high burn up it is com if we compare to the conventional lwr it is more than four times uh, larger that means uh, uh, so the spend fear is also decreasing uh, about a quarter. And uh, uh, will be such a uh, property will be uh, contribute to the reduced carbon dioxide uh, emission in the future. And the last uh, like slide. The most important thing in the uh, HDGR can produce the hydrogen and uh, electricity and, and both. And I can use as a heat, uh, as a chemical uh, plant or something. <clears throat> and also, most important thing is the combination of uh, renewable energy, like as uh, a solar system or something, will be very good. Uh, this means uh, if have uh, some uh, cannot produce uh, electricity from a solar power system, uh, HDR can produce. Uh, 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 electricity, uh, such like uh, during a night time or something. And also, uh, if uh, solar system can produce more uh, enough uh, electricity, 
SEGR can produce hydrogen and it can keep the fat energy. Now, uh, this feature is a very uh, unique and uh, uh, ideal. That means, uh, please image the relationship of uh, sun and the potato. Uh, uh, the light cannot use the uh, nuclear energy directly. And then, uh, potato can translate to the uh, uh, fusion energy, that means uh, nuclear energy can change to the hydrogen energy and uh, can uh, uh, accumulate and spread in the, it, your, it in a potato. potato. And then, uh, that means spread is a very uh, good uh, as a uh, chemical energy. This means uh, maybe in the future, uh, I hope uh, that to translate the uh, chemical energy, uh, we can make uh, something uh, food like a potato. Maybe such a uh, possibility, uh, I can feel that, uh, that the usage of the hydrogen production system. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, this is uh, my presentation of the content. I will talk uh, talking about the uh, outline of HDTR. Maybe most important thing to, we must know about the uh, HDTR before the, my presentation. And the next one is the uh, uh, Japanese regulation, uh, nuclear regulation. Uh, I will be briefly introduced. And uh, number three is the main part of uh, my uh, talking. And, uh, Adaptability of, to the new regulation, uh, new uh, regulation requirement. And uh, uh, it is a HTR. You please, uh, if you can see the uh, this difference, uh, maybe you can well know about more about HTR. First one in the J technology, you can. Uh, Easy to download from a website and maybe free. And the next one in the maybe the if it needs a, maybe needs some money maybe, but I can uh, you can get the, such a, a book from uh, adjustment. And then uh, before my talking, I I want to just shortly introduce by myself. My name is uh, Ishizuka Etsuo, and uh, Japanese name uh, Etsuo is a uh, given name. And then uh, Japanese character have a uh, one character have an each own meaning, and uh, Etsuo meaning a pleasure, and the man mean a uh, uh, O meaning a man. This means uh, my name is a pleasure man, and uh, I hope uh, you can enjoy it in uh, my presentation. It is my pleasure. And then uh, I like, uh, I hope to uh, enjoy the, my presentation. And the right side is, uh, uh, this is uh, my uh, talking of a summary. For the uh, 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 license, you know, this in the uh, 1990s, this is uh, before the construction of the HTTR, we can use the similar safety logic of uh, NPP because we don't have any experience to operation of HTTR. And then uh, can clear by using a similar logic. But nowadays, uh, maybe all, all of people know about that uh, Japanese new, uh, all of nuclear regulation is uh, increasing a more higher level of a hurdle uh, because of uh, uh, last uh, big disasters. disasters. But uh, we have already have uh, operational experience, and then such, uh, especially such like uh, safety demonstration test, that we can use uh, such uh, experience, we can clear that, uh, such a higher hurdle. This is uh, my content. Okay, next, next, uh, next page, outline of HTR.
Oh, sorry. Okay. HCTR is uh, located in the uh, northern part of Tokyo, maybe around uh, 150 kilometers to north. And maybe uh, around here is uh, Fukushima, maybe 200 kilometers south from uh, Fukushima. And then uh, our research institute is a very beautiful location and then uh, near the coast. Uh, near the coast of Pacific uh, Sea. And then uh, we have uh, three major reactors. One is, uh, one, one of the, uh, one is uh, uh, GMTR. This is a water cooled research reactor for material testing. And uh, this is an uh, artificial lake, Natsumi Lake. It is uh, uh, for cooling water to GMTR. And another one is the first uh, sodium cooled reactor, Joyo, is here, and the uh, HTR is here. And the Joyo and the HTR is a uh, cool, cooling, uh, final heat sink with the air, and uh, no need the water. And then uh, this is the uh, old pictures, and uh, nowadays uh, I let you know the later. It, it's a surrounded fire break zone. This is a request from uh, government. And then uh, now they uh, cut it, the surrounded tree, trees and uh, make uh, some uh, looks like a road. It, it we say called fire protection road, fire break road or something. And then nowadays uh, uh, around the near here is a cut it tree and uh, this is a small cliff in here. And a very beautiful scenery now. And uh, if I have a chance to visit here, and, uh, please, I recommend to see to here. And uh, Natsumi Lake is, uh, yeah, Natsumi is a good, good uh, pronunciation. And, uh, and then uh, I decided to name the, my younger daughter the same name. Is my young daughter named Natsumi. Okay, it's uh, not talking about uh, this one. Okay. Anyway, go to the next one. Okay, this is a, a major spe specification of HTR. HTR is a thermal power is a 30 megawatt and the average density is a 2.5. This is a very low density if you compare to the LWR. Uh, nuclear power plant uh, and uh, other uh, research reactors. But uh, this is uh, one of the good feature for the safety. And uh, this is outlet temperature maximum in the 950 degrees C, uh, cooled by uh, helium, and uh, pressure is uh, 4 megapascal. And the moderator is a graphite. And uh, core is a uh, so big if you compare to the research reactors. Uh, and the uh, height is uh, 3 meters and the diameter is uh, 2.3 meters. And fuel is uh, used for the low enriched UO2. And the uh, enrichment is uh, three, uh, many a kind of enrichment through, through the, this percentage uh, used for the, this one because uh, uh, to avoid the uh, hot spot and then uh, uh, our uh, core is a uh, core changing the uh, one time. I, I mean, uh, no uh, replacement, uh, uh, no changing the position of the fuel. And then uh, by using uh, this enrichment dispersion and uh, to totally where burn up, and then uh, we select the main kind of enrichment fuel. And the fuel element is a prismatic block. And for the pressure vessel, in the to use the chrome molybdenum steel for the this is high temperature material for the other steel. And the containment vessel is also we have, the, the, but the, um, usually uh, thin if you compare the. Uh, 
uh, nuclear power plant. Okay, go to the next one. Oh, sorry. Okay, HTR is a uh, uh, first critical. It is 1998, and uh, before two years uh, permission we got. This is the first permission I explained uh, already. But uh, our project is uh, start very long, long time ago, more than uh, 15 years ago or something. Okay, and uh, after first criticality, we doing uh, some uh, several tests or the uh, we say safety demonstration test or something. Uh, this is in in this 2002. This uh, control load drawing test, and then uh, 2004 we got the first uh, higher temperature uh, maximum 950 degrees C. This is a, 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 a record of, of the world in, in the time. And uh, uh, 2010, we operated the uh, 50 days continuous operation. Uh, this is a, a, to prove to the uh, enough reliability to operation. And then, uh, the, after then, uh, we start the uh, uh, loss of post cooling test. I explain later. Uh, this is also kind of a safety demonstration test. And then, after finish the, this uh, safety demonstration test, uh, and uh, after one month, a great East Japan earthquake coming. And uh, after then, we are uh, our reactor stop. And during the, this time, we try to get the uh, approval. And then, uh, finally, uh, we got the permission in the third of June of last year. Okay, this is the overview of HDTR project. Uh, now we are waiting for the uh, uh, restart. Uh, we got the, already the permission. And then uh, our target uh, of facility is this one. We want to try to connect to the helium gas production and the gas turbine power generation system to connect to the, our reactor. And uh, want to uh, demonstrate to generation of uh, helium gas and uh, uh, electric power by gas turbine. turbine. And then uh, this is an elementary uh, study and the development uh, to car already carry out. And then uh, this comp uh, turbine part is uh, almost finished. And then nowadays the uh, hydrogen uh, production um, or development is uh, ongoing. Okay, uh, this is uh, just a few graphs. Uh, HTR developed by Japan only Japanese technology. Uh, for example, the design or construction is uh, uh, did by the major uh, big company of uh, uh, atomic uh, energy uh, areas, uh, Mitsubishi or Toshiba, Hitachi Fuji or something. And, uh, and uh, they have a lot of de technical data already accumulated for the to build the next commercial reactor. And uh, uh, for the fuel, uh, this is also a uh, ceramic coated fuel. We uh, say uh, torso fuel, uh, generally speaking. And uh, this is also uh, produced uh, a high quality uh, fuel. Uh, by in a uh, Japanese company. And also this is a high temperature resistant material is also uh, developed by the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi material. And the uh, Hasselo is uh, usually, Hasselo X is uh, usually using, and then uh, 
that the contents are a little bit changed and uh, newly developed the hospital XR, XR meaning a reactor grade. And the other one is the graphite. In the Toyota is uh, can produce a high purity and reactor grade uh, graphite. And uh, this is a very good high strength and uh, high thermal conductivity and a uh, high uh, radiation resistance. Anyway, uh, almost technology is uh, uh, developed by the domestic technology uh, by Japanese company. Okay, this is a bird of view of a reactor building. Core is here and uh, surrounded by a uh, reactor pressure vessel. And uh, the reactor the pressure vessel is uh, uh, covered by a uh, containment vessel. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, water cooled heat exchanger here. And also we have a uh, intermediate heat exchanger. This means, uh, yeah, water, water cooled uh, heat exchanger is a, uh, that means a uh, primary coolant of helium is cooled by pressurized water. And the intermediate heat exchanger, meaning a uh, uh, primary helium coolant is cooled by secondary helium. And then uh, finally, uh, we want to take off the secondary high temperature helium for generate the hydrogen and the gas turbine system. And then, uh, okay, this is a uh, heated, uh, heated helium by core uh, that the uh, heat moves to the uh, pressurized water and then that the heated water is come to the top of the building by uh, under cooled by air cooler. Maybe you can image like as a uh, car radiator is that a similar system. And then now uh, in a secondary helium is also cooled by a uh, secondary pressure water cooler uh, because uh, now are uh, not connect to the such a hydrogen production system or uh, gas turbine system. And uh, nowadays are uh, cooled by just the water. And then uh, this water is also cooled by the, this, uh, like a radiator system. Okay, go to the next one. Yeah, this is a core component of uh, HCTL. And uh, yeah, this is core is a uh, 150 fuel assembly. It, is uh, located here. Uh, one layer is a 30 and the uh, and, uh, total five layer and the total 150. And uh, this is a double tube. And then uh, could help me the come to the outside of tube and uh, like this and uh, uh, help to uh, go to up to down and the cool by core and the heated helium and the come to the inside of a uh, double tube. And then uh, I explain the later uh, for the in design based accident. Uh, most severe case is uh, uh, this double pipe broken break is the uh, most severe case. Please remember that this one uh, I explained later. Uh, for related uh, beyond uh, design based accident. Okay, anyway, uh, this fuel is uh, uh, including a fuel compact, and a fuel compact including uh, around uh, uh, 20,000 fuel particles in the uh, inside here. And uh, this fuel pin you know, contains uh, 14. Uh, fuel compact in here. And uh, uh, ceramic coated uh, fuel is a very good 
for higher temperature resistance. And then uh, until 1,600, uh, 1, uh, no tissue product do not uh, release. And in case of graphite is also can uh, stand for the higher temperature around the 2050 degrees C. This is two part is uh, uh, get a um, uh, good safety future uh, to the uh, HTR. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, this is a reactor shutdown system. And, uh, okay, this is quite one of the fuel block, and the 30 fuel block in here. And uh, this one in the uh, control guide block, and a total 16 block in the in core. And uh, each block have a two hole for the, uh, 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 Control load. And the control of a uh, neutral absorber is a uh, uh, C4C cylinders are uh, absorbed by boron. And uh, each uh, control box have a uh, two uh, absorber system. That means a uh, uh, total 32 uh, neutral absorber is uh, insert as a uh, control load. And also, uh, we have uh, another uh, reserve shutdown system. This is uh, in case of a trouble of a control load. Uh, before the pellet is uh, loaded to the upper side, uh, in case of a uh, trouble of a control load, this is end plan is uh, uh, go to up by using a motor. And uh, uh, this pellet is uh, uh, go down to into the reactor. This is a white part is a, such a space for the in case of emergency. Okay, this is also uh, important. And then uh, please remember the is a shutdown system. We have a two start shutdown system and a one is a reserve. Okay, and then uh, this core is a surrounded uh, some kind of a belt and. Uh, uh, fixed to the position, and uh, uh, even in a big earthquake, and uh, do not block the, this belt, and uh, that means uh, uh, support strongly that the core mat uh, uh, core component in the inside of uh, reactor vessel. Okay, go to the next one. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is a, a cooling system. A primary cooling system in a, a yellow part here. Uh, primary cooling system that cooled by the by water uh, heat exchanger and also intermediate heat exchanger. Uh, intermediate heat exchanger is a 10 megawatt can removed and uh, only 10 megawatt to use for the hydrogen production system or the turbine system. And I uh, can operate the parallel by heat exchanger. And another one we have uh, uh, it gets above normal condition on and or after reactor shutdown to remove the decay heat. We have, uh, oh, sorry. We have a auxiliary cooling system here. Uh, this is a 3.5 megawatt, and uh, this means uh, uh, can cool by slowly because uh, if uh, cooling speed is high, maybe we worry about the crack of a uh, inside core material, and then then uh, cool by slowly that the capacity is uh, decided this one. Okay, this is, uh, anyway, is uh, abnormal condition and uh, after the after shutdown. 
And the other one, uh, we have uh, another abnormal condition for the cooling system. We say the vessel cooling system. This is uh, uh, like a panel of outside. Uh, this is the reactor vessel. And uh, cooled by the using uh, this panel. This panel is uh, cooling by the uh, water, by cooling tube. And this is the uh, roll is uh, 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 cooling, but in case of a uh, trouble of a both system, can remove the heat by only this one. Is it possible? For for example, the uh, natural uh, natural convection in uh, this gap, uh, concrete and uh, lift vessel, um, and then uh, radiation uh, such as uh, natural convection and uh, heat to remove to the this panel. Uh, this one uh, is also we have uh, another abnormal uh, cooling system. Okay. Okay, this is uh, another safety feature I explained uh, already. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Japanese uh, fuel products is a very high uh, grade, and then. Uh, this is the uh, uh, data of the uh, 50 days continuous operation at 950 degrees C. And then this is a result of a uh, uh, kind of a fission product. And then uh, if we compare to the, the other reactors such as uh, ABR, uh, F, F, uh, F, F, FV, uh, that the uh, uh, radiation level is uh, very small, more than maybe three order uh, lower than the other. This means, uh, uh, in case of a higher uh, case, it, it will be occur from uh, initial defect of the fuel. But uh, our fuel quality is uh, very good and uh, uh, keeping the lower, you know, that the meaning of this. Graph. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, this is another uh, safety issue for inherent uh, reactor safety design. And then, uh, okay, uh, I already said uh, about uh, uh, fuel particle uh, cannot resist the uh, uh, fish product uh, uh, even in an uh, accident. Oh, in case of an uh, uh, accident in a uh, design base, is a uh, maximum around uh, 100, uh, 1,450 degrees C or so on. But uh, uh, this is a maximum of the accident. But uh, uh, this part, uh, fuel, uh, if uh, temperature are uh, up to the 1,600, you will see, it be no problem for no release of the fission product. Maybe more than 2,000 is, is also maybe no trouble. Anyway, uh, it's a uh, good to uh, keep in a fission product in the inside. And the other one, the uh, uh, helium is uh, in that gas under uh, no re chemical reaction, uh, no or hydrogen production in case of uh, uh, accident. Uh, maybe everyone know about that. And also uh, graphite core is uh, also one of the important. And uh, it have a neg negative reactivity coefficient is uh, very good. And uh, high heat capacity and uh, large thermal conductivity of graphite. And uh, it's a good feature for all to this meaning uh, if I have uh, some trouble, uh, heat removed by, uh, uh, removed to outside by this uh, good thermal property of uh, graphite. And this is uh, one of the example of a simulation in a loss of coolant. We can keep the more than uh, 1,600 degrees C. And then, uh, yeah, 
uh, please remember that this one uh, negative reactivity coefficient is a very good. This is this is issue is a very important in uh, and please remember this this one. I I explain later. Anyway, uh, uh, HTL have a uh, inherent reactor safety uh, from uh, design, but uh, in case of uh, first con construction, uh, that mean uh, about uh, more than 20 years ago, we did not use uh, such a good future and uh, just follow the uh, old uh, nuclear power plant regulation. And then uh, this this is a uh, old time of the case of uh, our yeah our license. Okay, go to next one. Okay. Oh sorry, it's a very low speed reaction. Okay, uh, I talking about the final for safety demonstration test. This is a view graph. And uh, uh, before the big earthquake, uh, and, uh, one month ago, we finished uh, this uh, test. In this case, the uh, uh, nine megawatt operation, this is a 30% of my power. And then, uh, during operation, we stop the helium gas. This meaning uh, no cooling by helium gas. And then uh, this is a vacuum cooling system. This is out cooling. System. This is uh, uh, now available in this in this test. But uh, we we stop the uh, scrum of by control load. And then this is the result. The flow rate is, is here and uh, stop by circulator. And then flow rate is a stop, uh, go to zero. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, temperature of the fuel is a little bit uh, increased, uh, but uh, uh, it's coming for the Doppler effect of the fuel and also the moderator's uh, effect. And then the after power is automatically down to go to zero. And uh, this safety demonstration test is a uh, uh, program of a uh, program that the uh, OECD NEA project. And then uh, we did this one. Anyway, uh, this meaning uh, if you have a loss of a cooling and heat is uh, removed to the outside and uh, the reactor is uh, automatically stopped by uh, uh, physical uh, property of core, and uh, uh, stop the uh, to this safety. This is the meaning of this one. And then uh, in the future, uh, after this, that we plan to the one hundred percent power. That's a similar test. And the other one, the thirty percent power, but the uh, uh, vacuum cooling uh, system is also stopping. Is is the, the plant. And, uh, after we start, we try to the, this uh, next safety demonstration test. Okay, I I will shortly uh, explain about uh, Japanese uh, nuclear regulation. Okay, maybe everyone know about that uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant uh, accident. In this case, the uh, uh, by a yeah uh, by tsunami as tsunami and uh, first time the uh, loss of uh, uh, power due to earthquake and the tsunami and uh, uh, cannot cool cooling and uh, by loss of cooling the uh, core damage uh, and uh, generate hydrogen and uh, this leak leaked hydrogen. Uh, make a uh, e explosion and then release the fission product. And uh, this one is the initial such an impact and uh, go to the crisis to the uh, severe accident that developed to go to the severe accident. That's a trouble. 
Okay. And uh, before the another this time, uh, this is a Japanese regulation in the left side. The all the regulatory is that the rule is the regulatory requirement did not cover severe accident. This meaning uh, uh management of a severe accident is uh, uh de defined as the owner, that the responsibility owner in, in this case. And uh, uh noting a framework of a continuous safety improvement and a lack of risk allowance of a uh, natural disasters. And uh, such of uh, 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 issue is uh, one of a uh, reason for such a new uh, accident. Anyway, uh, after the new regulatory standard, all of parties are reinforced and uh, someone uh, introduced, introduced a new lead, uh, for example, the volcano or tornado or forest fire or an uh, internal flooding or something. And of course, uh, seismic evaluation is also reinforced. And the other one in the, for the severe accident, uh, added to the other one for like this. And also add the for measurement against the terrorism, uh, aircraft attack or something. It, it's something, uh, some kind of CB accident must be introduced in a new regulation. Okay, that is uh, in case of a nuclear power plant. Power plant. And uh, this is for the research directors. And then uh, all the regulatory standards that is uh, almost similar by previous uh, nuclear power plant. And then uh, this is uh, uh, now uh, uh, nuclear, new regulatory standard. And uh, uh, reinforced in the this green part is uh, almost the same. And, and but uh, uh, in case of a severe accident, uh, this is says uh, uh, prevent from a large amount of radioactivity release. It be only added for the as a uh, into the new uh, research reactor. We say the uh, this is a beyond design based analysis accident. Yeah, BDPA we say call. This is a countermeasure measure of a CB accident. This is uh, uh, this meaning uh, even in a very low possibility, uh, we must prepare the uh, final weapon to keeping a safety. This is a uh, question from a government, and uh, we must uh, answer the, this one. What is the final uh, weapon to, to against the such a crisis? Yeah, this is the meaning. Okay, but uh, we want to early restart, uh, and then uh, we need to uh, uh, make a new safety theory, use theory by using the uh, inherent safety design uh, that are coming from a result of a safety demonstration test or something. Anyway, uh, we try to like this. Okay, this is the main part of uh, my talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, just a pure graph of a schedule. And uh, this is a, uh, uh, yeah, this is a permission. And this, oh, sorry. This is a very complicated name, but uh, anyway, this is uh, for the permission. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is, a uh, uh, if the stopping the reactor must be keep the safety, and uh, this is uh, such a uh, activity line. And uh, this one, uh, this one is, uh, 
Yes, the upper part is a, uh, just a design, and uh, this one is a more detailed design for this meaning. And uh, this activity is uh, uh, all now uh, carrying, uh, now doing, uh, carrying in now. And uh, after finish some construction, and uh, we, we plan to the restart in uh, another uh, June, uh, so end of July of this year. This is uh, before I uh, restart, we need uh, some uh, inspection from the government or something in this meeting. Okay, this is uh, just uh, confirmation of the further difference from a uh, nuclear power plant and uh, HCTR. It's a very low power and a low density. And the uh, emergency cooling system we are not necessary. And the heat, a decay heat can remove by uh, natural heat transfer or natural convection and so on. Next one is also similar, uh, build graph. And then, uh, yes. Okay, this is a uh, uh, core is uh, not melting even in uh, uh, accident. Also including uh, beyond design based analysis is also. And the uh, reactor shutdown, uh, we have uh, two devices, uh, main control load and the reserve uh, shutdown system we have. But uh, also uh, additionally we have uh, Inherent safety design. This is uh, coming from uh, from uh, reactor physics. The, the physical uh, property of a core and can stop automatically. This is meaning. And the uh, heat removal from core is a uh, uh, in case of a nuclear power plant is a uh, forced cooling, but the uh, uh, passive cooling is okay in uh, uh, our reactors. And the uh, fuel integrity, uh, even in accident, is uh, no trouble in case, in our case. And the uh, containment base is also, uh, it is, can contain in, uh, inside of fuel and, uh, uh containment base, lot of containment base is uh, not so uh, important, but th that's a uh, this meaning. So this is a final column is a difference because uh, if introduce the air into the core, maybe we occur to the oxidation of uh, 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 this is a, uh, uh, and then uh, we don't like to introduce air and the water in the, in the inside of core. But, but by the, our experiment, uh, you know, uh, for example, the, in a higher pressure part, air can, air or water cannot introduce into the core, uh, in case of higher pressure. And then, uh, start to introduce the air is, uh, in case of, by the experiment, our experiment, about, uh, five days later, after cooling the core, and then air come to the uh, inside of, uh, core component. But in this case, uh, core is already cooling condition, and uh, that means uh, no trouble for the uh, oxidation. And then uh, I did not explain about the detail, but uh, this is uh, that meaning. Okay, this is uh, almost a similar uh, one, and uh, for the uh, in case of a uh, control reactivity, uh, uh, during the design based analysis, we can use the control system, but the more severe case is, uh, can stop for the physical property of a core. The heat removal is also, uh, during a design based analysis, only basal cooling system is enough, but the more difficult case is uh, just natural convection is okay, that's no problem. And for the con uh, containment, 
and keeping the radio uh, fish product is already always contained to in the uh, fuel particle and then uh, maybe almost can keep in the fuel particle and uh, we have uh, another more barrier for example the uh, fuel element uh, pressure vessel and uh, containment vessel and the lifter building and uh, that means uh, no problem and that means uh, cannot go to the more severe accident in uh, our case it's a very different from a uh, nuclear power plant. Okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, safety importance classification. This is the most important part of uh, my presentation. Okay, uh, in case of uh, uh, Japanese regulation, uh, we have uh, safe, two kind of safety importance. One is the uh, uh, this one, PS1 or P uh, MS1, this is a prevention system, mitigation system. This is a category to the, uh, uh, for the facilities. Other, other category is a system mix importance, we say uh, S class and the B class and the C class. This is a, a classification is a rule by the two guide. And then, uh, uh, we are thinking of uh, low density and uh, we have an uh, inherent safe, uh, safety feature and uh, we classified again. And then uh, the unique classification uh, it was uh, approved by a government. So uh, this means right. And then maybe the PS and MS uh, maybe uh, usually used for the you know, uh, other country, I think. And then maybe I explain about the uh, in case of a system mix on the next slide. Okay, this is a classification of a system mix design. And uh, okay, C class uh, is a, a general in industrial facility. And the B class is a, a one time. Uh, 1.5 times strength or uh, more than the industrial facility. This meaning uh, if have a broke the S class, uh, surrounded people's radiation uh, dose is uh, occurred to the 0.05 millisievert like this. And then uh, S class is uh, three times strength than the general industrial facility. And if I have some this important stress broke in the five millisieverts is the hookah for the dose of the surrounding system. And then uh, for the sesame evaluation, uh, that uh, we say sesame standard wave, we say, uh, I'll explain the later. Anyway, by using uh, this wave is a, uh, is broken or not must be checked for all of S class facility. And S D is a seismic design uh, wave. This meaning, and uh, this is half of one. In the this is also uh, uh, how to decide that this wave is uh, also have a guide in the Japanese uh, regulatory, and then we are making uh, this wave. Uh, by using the guide and the check the, uh, each facility. Important fa facility is the S class. Okay. okay uh, this is a uh, uh, result of a uh, review. And then I'm very sorry uh, for the physical protection. I'm, I mean, uh, against the countermeasure for the terrorism. Uh, I cannot talking about, uh, I cannot show the, some uh, uh, safety issue for the related uh, physical protection. And uh, I must say only by talk, I cannot show the picture of something, very sorry. Okay. Anyway, I, I explain about the uh, related the uh, sesamics. Uh, this is a old, old case is a maximum, uh, uh, acceleration is a 
350 car. And then now the new, new one in the, uh, become to around uh, three times higher than 973 car. Uh, this is reason why is, uh, uh, after the, uh, big earthquake, uh, we must check the, uh, fault of the ground and also including the fault of, uh, under sea is also. And then we, uh, small fault near the, our site is, uh, identified. Uh, that's one of reasons. And uh, another one is, uh, uh, this is coming from a uh, loop. And the near the fault, uh, assumed to the moving simultaneously. This is a guide. Uh, this meaning, uh, maybe uh, you know about uh, a big earthquake uh, around the Fukushima. This is a, a big fault. Have uh, together and uh, and aligned to the nearby, and uh, that fault is uh, moving simultaneously. And then, uh, uh, seismic with a very long time. And anyway, uh, we have uh, such a uh, uh, experience, and the uh, rule is a uh, uh, near fault must be thinking to simultaneously move. And then, that means, uh, uh Sesamic wave, wave will become uh, very high. And that's the reason uh, that the uh, uh, accelerator, acceleration is uh, very high. At least. Okay, next one in the, uh, for the, uh, yeah, downgrade. Uh, I explained about the uh, uh, classification. And then uh, we try to reduce uh, uh, such a uh, importance classification. Uh, if you go to the more uh, downgrade, it's very e easy to the clear the hurdle, that's the meaning. And then uh, this is a core heat removal S plus to B plus. Uh, and uh, maybe you remember the auxiliary cooling system. Uh, this is uh, in case of uh, uh, abnormal condition. Uh, and then, uh, and also a vacuum based cooling system also. And uh, that uh, uh, cooling system is a previously is the S class. But uh, uh, please remember the safety demonstration test that all of cooling system is down, but uh, uh, heat comes to we go to outside uh, naturally and uh, uh, not necessarily such a uh, forced cooling. That means uh, such kind of uh, uh, facility importance is uh, not necessarily such a high level. And then we can explain to the government and uh, can success to the downgrade to S class B. Okay. And the next one is the internal structure. This is also uh, this meaning a uh, uh, previous uh, regulation uh, of our, our design, uh, internal core component of, uh, I mean, a graphite block or something. It will be, uh, must be survived during uh, 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 S-class seismic wave. Because uh, at that time, the uh, cooling gap is must be cheap for the, uh, for the reactor safety, that mean uh, uh, forced cooling is necessary in the uh, old our uh, proposal. But uh, please remember to the uh, safety demonstration test. If the stopping uh, uh, forced cooling is uh, no problem, it will be uh, heat to remove to the outside and cool by natural convection, and then. This meaning, uh, uh, if a uh, graphite block have a, a crack by earthquake, it will be no problem. That's the meaning. Uh, that the shape, if not change the shape, it will not trouble. Uh, 
do you remember the this in the core part is a uh, uh, fixed by the outside bed. This outside bed is S class. It, this is a not change, but the inside of uh, graphite part it can reduce to the S class to B class. This be we allow to the some crack by asking is okay, no problem for the heat transfer or something. And then we successfully we, we come to down to the uh, classification to S to B. And then uh, if our uh, if not success, that's a very severe and uh, yeah, in, in case of uh, sesamic uh, sesamic motion. Okay, uh, next one is a tsunami evaluation. And this is uh, simulated by uh, uh, tsunami, tsunami level in the most higher case is a uh, uh, 17.8 meter for, from sea level. But uh, our location is a uh, 36.5 meter and uh, no trouble, and, uh, not required anything. And uh, also the, this is uh, including a natural disaster such as like a tornado volcano and uh, forest fire is also. And then, uh, in case of a tornado, it's a, a 100 meter per sec speed must be taking up account. This is a coming from a, a weather data in a, yeah, in our near area. But this is maybe not local, such a high speed wind. And the other one in the, this is a volcano. This is a, a some kind of ash. Uh, and uh, if I have some volcano, it'll be a maximum 50 centimeters. This is a, a we digging uh, ground and uh, check the old case, uh, old experience in here. And, uh, and then uh, that the thickness is a maximum is a 50 centimeters. Uh, this thickness is uh, also including uh, uh, water is a uh, more heavier. And the uh, both one is uh, if have uh, such a uh, higher speed wind, and then some flying object come to and attack to the left building, it's uh, not trouble. That that's a variation for us. And uh, this, in case of ash, you have a falling ash in the uh, top of a building. And uh, in case of such a uh, rainy inkling, that the uh, extra building is uh, not trouble. Uh, that's uh, such a uh, uh, evaluation. And the uh, result is uh, no problem. Okay. But uh, uh, this is uh, uh, as a forest fire or something, uh, I explained uh, about the uh, uh, photograph of our institute uh, already. And uh, we, we uh, fireproof belt, fire protection load is uh, require, required from government. And uh, uh, now they are already construct uh, in our facility. But uh, now they build uh, that. Uh, good sightseeing for me. Okay, and uh, next one. Okay, uh, next one is the uh, fire. This is uh, mainly the internal fire. And then uh, regulatory requirement to the cable production. This meaning uh, we have uh, many important cable line for the electricity or uh, measurement. And usually the uh, double or uh, triple safety, I mean uh, parallel to introduce one. But uh, in case of uh, internal fire, must be survived uh, at least on one line. And then uh, the only one line must be the uh, lapping to survive during fire, uh, during a one hour. That, uh, mean, uh, that image is uh, some uh, 
uh, glass fibers made it uh, wrapping material is covered by the, some special uh, uh, cable tray or something. That's the image of this cable prote protection. And uh, also the last one is the uh, BDBA. This is a, uh, uh, do you remember the design based analysis? This is a, uh, uh, broken in a double tube with a lower part of a HTL core. And, uh, uh, this is a, a DBA, the worst case. And, uh, uh must be uh, overlapped the other issue for the one of the failure of a scrum, uh, heat remover and the failure of a containment vessel. Uh, this possibility is very, very low, but uh, uh, I explained uh, already the government question is uh, what, what is the uh, final weapon or something, uh, even in uh, such an unexpected and uh, uh, severe accident. This is, uh, and then we must answer the, this one. But uh, anyway, uh, we, our core, Core is uh, not met in, in case of all of the BDPA, but uh, uh, only necessary for the monitoring uh, during uh, such a CP accident. Uh, of course, no uh, electric power or something. And uh, we need uh, some uh, uh, portable power generator for the mo monitoring is uh, necessary. Anyway, uh, uh, we uh, have a uh, uh, no, without significant additional reinforcement. Uh, we we got the approval by using a uh, inherent safety feature of HDTR. Okay, sorry, it will be did you take a time and uh, this is the conclusion. The uh, upper part is uh, already explained about that and. Uh, uh, in the future, we try to start the demo, this start the uh, safety demonstration test. This is a OECD near project. And then in a more future, uh, we, we try to the using, to attach the heat utilization system. This meaning a hydrogen production system and a gas turbine, uh, electricity generation system. And, uh, now, now time uh, I cannot say a uh, detail because uh, maybe a little bit secret, but uh, in a very near future, we can hear the good news from uh, government or something. We are expecting uh, that. And uh, please watching the, our uh, project in a uh, near future. Okay. And the other one in the uh, international cooperation in the uh, by using uh, HDL is also we are expecting uh, like this. And then anyway, uh, in through these uh, big earthquake, uh, Japanese the de uh, recognized the helping each other is a very important. And maybe the some foreigners say the Japanese are very kindly and. Uh, but uh, for Japanese, uh, helping each other is the uh, only survival way because Japan has uh, many disasters. And then uh, for collaboration, is a uh, uh, friendly and uh, kindly is, uh, is better to, for the collaboration. Uh, I think that's the reason why Japanese uh, as a uh, of, uh, as a person thinking for Japanese uh, so kindly so uh, because uh, uh, we cannot escape from uh, Japan uh, it's a very small island and also the, I want to say the uh, for the global warming and the COVID-19 it's a coronavirus they are teaching us the uh, Collaboration is uh, most important for surviving. They, they said, uh, uh, this is my understanding. And then only way is uh, helping each other. 
And then uh, our project is also, collaboration is uh, very important for surviving, I think. And uh, uh, we hope the such a cooperation for the in the future. And uh, anyway, uh, we cannot escape from the earth. Must be neither cooperation is the only way for survival. Okay, that's all of uh, my presentation. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ishizuka. If you have questions, go ahead and type them into the questions pane. Um, while questions are coming in, we have some information that we're happy to share with you on the Pitch Your Gen 4 Research Competition. Patricia, did you want to talk a little bit about this? Yes, <clears throat> yes thank you, uh, Bertha. Uh, again, uh, good uh, morning, everyone. I wanted you to be aware of this uh, Pitch Your Gen 4 Research Competition event. Um, the GIF um, Education and Training Working Group has launched uh, 1st of February a pitch competition, which is virtual. And we have uh, asked uh, the junior researcher around the world um, to send us an abstract. We got uh, 51 uh, people who competed, and 21 of them uh, have been uh, selected, and they have pitched um, their uh, research uh, through a video. So these videos are available on two platforms, the YouTube platform and the Bilibili platforms. And I'm asking you uh, if you could to watch these videos, they are very short, and vote for your favorite, and favorite with one S, which means that you can vote several times. Uh, the, the winner of this uh, of, of this uh, vote, and this is really uh, the public vote, uh, will be able to present his or her work uh, through a GIF webinar in uh, 2022. So again, uh, thank you so much for participating. I think it means a lot to the junior researcher uh, work on these uh, Gen4 systems to be included. Uh, these are our future. Uh, these are the next uh, generation and probably leaders in this field. So thank you in advance. Uh, the vote is open until April the 30th, so at the end of the month. Okay, Bertha, if you want to show the next slides. And so um, I talked about that last month, um, but I would like to uh, bring your attention to a special uh, a GIF uh, webinar um, to celebrate the 20th anniversary celebration of the Gen4 International Forum. Uh, this is, uh, I'm very pleased um, to be the moderator. We have uh, an international uh, panel uh, with the six current and former uh, chairs of the Gen4 International, Pro uh, um, International Forum, and they will talk about the progress and future prospects towards developing and deploying Gen4 reactors as advanced nuclear energy systems. So I encourage you um, to watch um, this, uh, this webinar. It will be uh, certainly interesting. And also we have two panelists, uh, Ms. Diane Cameron and uh, Dr. Dio, uh, Fiona Raymond, who will give uh, the introduction and the concluding remarks. So thank you again. Give you back the floor, Bertha. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. So just a quick look at the upcoming webinars that we have planned. Again, the uh, special presentation on April 28th, and then returning to our normal monthly GIF uh, presentations in May, advanced manufacturing for Gen 4 reactors in June, in-service inspection and repair developments for SFRs and extension to other Gen 4 systems. And in July, evaluating changing paradigms across the nuclear industry. So thank you for um, that, your attention uh, during that. Also, I, um, I want to draw your attention on your slide deck. There are um, several slides that have been provided as appendices that provide some additional technical information uh, from today's presentation. Uh, Dr. Ishii Shuko was kind enough to put together and share that those details with you. 
Um, okay, Ishi san, I have I have elevated you to organizer, so you should be able to see the questions. There are several questions in the pane now. Um, starting at the at the earliest question, there is a question of what is the composition of the fuel kernel, UO2 or UCO? Yeah, it's a U2O. Thank you. Please explain uh, more on how negative temperature reactivity was. I'm sorry. UO2, sorry. Thank you. Okay, got it. Please explain more on how the negative temperature reactivity was achieved in the HTTR. Can you make a comparison of HTTR core with R? BMK type reactor core um, without re regard to reactivity coefficient? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I cannot see the question. And uh, maybe for the uh, question, uh, please see the appendix. You, maybe you can understand more detail, I think. Are there any hydrogen risks during accident in HTTR, and how is it managed? Uh, uh, because uh, we are just uh, using uh, helium gas, and uh, uh, yeah, pressurized water is a uh, more lower pressure than uh, helium gas. And that means I uh, cannot introduce the water to, into core. And uh, uh, that means uh, no problem for the hydrogen production in uh, it's okay. Does HTTR have any protective measures against volcanic ash? Is there any risk of volcanic ash to reduce the heat removal capacity of the reactor, such as intake or blockage? I think you talked about that in one of your slides, but perhaps you could embellish a little bit on that. Maybe uh, there are uh, some kind of asking for the ash. But, uh, uh, we cannot control the ash. Ash is coming the, by wind, and uh, if accumulate to the top of the building, uh, we remove the uh, that ash by hand. Cannot control. Thank you. Is the legal environment in Japan ready for one? Commercial HTGR reactor, not a research or test facility, and two, non-electrical applications of HTGR, for example, coupling with the industrial site. And if not, which are the key points to be implemented in legal acts, et cetera? Um, for the in case of commercial uh, HTGR reactor, of course, nothing for the, such a regulatory, and then maybe it must be talking, but uh, our experience will be affect the, such a uh, thinking and uh, it'll be more better way than uh, uh, conventional nuclear power plant. That, that means uh, uh, government approves uh, our inherent safety future. Thank you. Do you have a PSA or a PRA model of the HTTR that has been approved by NRA? Uh, we, we don't have a such activity. Some utilities are planning or proposing demonstration projects of HTGR in Canada, US, and UK. They have different designs from HTTR, so they are not V HTGR, some are micromodular reactors, and some use pebble bed fuel type. How do you think they can make use of the benefit from JAEA's experience for their licensing efforts? Mm. Maybe, maybe our experience will be contribute, but uh, actually, the in in a uh, IAEA. Uh, I had uh, such a safety issue is uh, already start the discuss in uh, all of the world and uh, 
they want to make uh, some uh, 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 safety regulation level or something I had. And uh, anyway, the uh, I experience will be affected to good good way. Thank you. What are the real scientific challenges that slow the progress of this magnificent technology and spike of global hunger for clean energy? That's probably um, pretty high level for the discussion here today. Yeah, it's, yeah maybe maybe contribute to the, such a global uh, warming or something, and uh, we be expected. Uh, I already explained uh, for the, it is a more uh, sympathy with uh, renewable energy and then maybe contribute in the future. Maybe it is okay for my answer, I'm sure. What happens to the spent fuel? Is it stored in its original state or is it reprocessed? Uh, we did not decide the reprocessing, but uh, uh, we have uh, all the time have uh, some uh, research, and, uh, and uh, but uh, uh, that uh, fuel particle can broke by mechanically. The, after then, the, the, the conventional uh, treatment is uh, possible. And then maybe the not so much so trouble we are thinking about the like the have previous earthquakes affected the HTTR operation in any way? Thanks for the interesting talk. Mm, pardon? <laughs> Sorry again. Have earthquakes affected the HTTR in operation in any way? Uh, in case of earthquake, well, our plant is a stop. And then, um, but the uh, uh, trouble from earthquake is uh, not, cannot find. Uh, because uh, uh, I did not say that today, the, in uh, our facility is, uh, oh, for the uh, reducing the thermal expansion, uh, our component in the uh, hung from the seal, and uh, that means more flexibility can move to re to reduce the thermal expansion. And uh, that the such system is very good for the earthquake, and then maybe uh, no trouble. Uh, it, it, uh, we cannot find a trouble through the such earthquake. Thank you. What are the latest innovations in decay heat removal? Do HTTR offer any differences in this regard to PWR? I wondered if you came across heat pipe technology that could be considered. Oh, heat pipe, uh, may I ask you again? What are the latest innovations in decay heat removal? Do HTTR offer any differences in this regard to PWR? I wondered if you came across heat pipe technology that could be considered. Mm. Sorry, I, I don't know about the heat pipe technology, but uh, maybe if, if that the technology is more better, maybe can introduce. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not so the... <laughs> Specialist about this one. Very sorry. Thank you. Could control rods omitted when disaster is impossible because of the inherent safety control? Oh, uh, let's see here. This is hard for me to. Could control rods omitted when disasters are impossible because of the inherent safety and control of the intensity be fulfilled? Be the spread of helium a number of fuel elements? So sorry, it is difficult to 
Yeah, this yeah. one is hard for me to, to read. I'll try and send it to you. Um, Okay. Sorry, uh, I cannot, I can hear the about the question. Could can, can you read again? Yes, it's in the, I sent it to you in the chat also for you to read with me. It reads, could control rods omitted when disasters are impossible because the inherent safety and control of intensity be fulfilled be the hmm. spread of helium and number of fuel elements. Bertrand, is she, because the question is not very clear, I am uh, asking maybe, uh, um Josh and Michel from Germany to send an email directly to Ishi. Uh, the email um, is written on the second slides and maybe you can have a conversation uh, through email. Yeah, yeah it's more better, I think. Very sorry. Thank yeah, you. that's easier. Thank you, that's a great suggestion. Do you have a ballpark figure for the burn up in milliwatts per day, megawatts per day? Uh, in a, okay, uh, in a design of HTL fuel, uh, in a 660 day for 30 megawatts. This is uh, our design. Uh, nowadays, uh, our burn up is uh, around uh, 300 days for the uh, 30 megawatts. That means uh, uh, about half of a uh, uh, burn up of a uh, design in an hour. Is it enough for you? Enough maybe? Thank you, yes. Um, there's a follow-up question on the PRA model. If you do not have a PRA model, how did you identify the events and accident sequences to be considered in the safety review? Yeah, we don't have uh, such a, uh, yeah, activity. What is the exclusion zone radius considered for HTTR sites? Uh, pardon? What ex ex Exclusion zone. Maybe the yeah. In case of the uh, in case of emergency, it be um, five kilometer for the uh, in, in in case of uh, some accident, the five kilometer people must be evacuate. This is the uh, uh, Japanese. Uh, low. Maybe it's okay. Thank you. Do you have young engineers that are interested in this technology, or are the skill shortages expected in the future? Maybe. Uh, I, I could not understand this meaning, and uh, maybe uh, maybe I could rephrase it. Just do, in Japan, yeah, it, do you reach out to the next generation? Are you encouraging the young engineers into the nuclear yeah, industry also? Yeah, of course, I think so. Yes, I think so. Okay, I, I can find the question now. Um, okay, next one. That's what happens. Uh, How many more years will the HTTR operator operate under new licensing from NRA? Uh, does that mean uh, in the future? Yes. 
maybe uh, after the safety demonstration test, maybe we uh, stop again because uh, we, we, we try to make a connection to the hydrogen production system or uh, gas turbine electricity production system. And then maybe few years operate and then we'll be stopped for the uh, next uh, step. Thank you. How much, how much amount of carbon-14 produced in the reactor core? Will it not be a significant problem for waste disposal? Yeah, uh, carbon-14 is uh, uh, actually the produce, but uh, it's a very low gamma, uh, sorry, beta, and then uh, maybe not so, I think the not so trouble. Thank you again for all of your um, time and sharing your expertise with us. With us. Um, the the time for scheduled for today is is uh, ended. There is there's a couple of comments that I will forward to you um, so that you can continue back and forth by email with people on the um, the question that was unclear to, to to me, and I apologize for that. But um, Thank everyone for uh, your attention and for participating in a lively discussion. Thank you, Ishi-san, for sharing your expertise. Patricia, thank you for your organizational skills and promoting um, this to the next generation. It's, it's, very, it's invaluable to, to do that work. Thank you, Bertin. Thank you again, uh, Ishi. Uh, very good uh, webinar. And if you can, you join us. Uh, next uh, week on the 28th of uh, of uh, April. I think you will love it. It will be very different. So wishing you uh, a good day and you all stay safe. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm.